Remembering 9-11, 20 years later, the terrorist attacks that changed our country and the world forever. The hijackings and crashing of four planes taking almost 3,000 innocent lives. Al-Qaeda terrorists crashing two planes into the World Trade Center. One downed in a field in Pennsylvania and a fourth into the Pentagon, the symbol of the United States military. American Airlines Flight 77 was flown into the western side of the building, killing 189 people. The Pentagon, with about six and a half million square feet of floor space, is broken up into five rings or sections, symbolizing each branch of the military. Retired Air Force Colonel Monsignor Carlo Montecalvo, who at the time was Chief of Personnel for the Air Force Chaplain Service, was in D.C. on 9-11 and tells me the attack could have been much worse if the plane went into another part of the building. It wasn't supposed to shatter the way it did. It was supposed to go through three rings, through the courtyard where people are having lunch or breakfast or a cup of coffee, through the other um, ri three rings, and out the other side of the building. Um, but because that, that section had been fortified, it could not make its way through, but the gas began to spill. What complicated it was, those who were trying to get into the building where the plane impacted could not break the windows. It was shatterproof glass. And they weren't afraid of the building impacting as it did in New York because they had just reinforced the roof. That wing was not occupied yet. It was still unoccupied. It was almost a miracle that they didn't choose one of the other five sides. Did you ever talk to anybody that was in the building? I did. On the plane? What did they tell you? Oh, they were just, they didn't, when they heard the um, alarm go off, they didn't know what was going on. I think some of them had been briefed on what was first, the first plane in, in New York that they weren't thought was an accident. Then all of a sudden everyone became much more aware when the second plane hit the building. And now all of a sudden you're in this building and you're hearing alarms go off. You're hearing, you're smelling smoke. Then when it hits the building, you hear an explosion and then other explosions. Um, I guess we have trained for the fog and friction of war. But that's why they call it fog and friction, because you can train for this, but the moment it happens, you're in that situation, the adrenaline begins to flow in your body and your reaction um, is one of bravery that you may not even think about. What about the uh, heroic things that you saw uh, at the Pentagon? We had chaplains who were dealing with taking bodies out of the Pentagon. We had police officers, military personnel um, who were putting their lives on line because can you imagine the flame that went up and um, they wanted to know that they were accounted for, yet they wanted to take care of other people. There's that friction within a person to save oneself, but yet to go back in and save another person. And all those heroic acts are well documented. The Monsignor tells me he remembers 9-11 like it was yesterday and will never forget the silence along the river days later and seeing the complex burning and the smell of the smoke coming from the Pentagon. We have much more 9-11 coverage. It's on our website, WPRI.com.